Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 2 of my Xcode tutorial series. So, last episode we just introduced where to download Xcode and how to get it on your system. And today we're actually going to be looking at the user interface and describing all of the different areas. So let's get started. So I created this graphic for you guys to illustrate what the different areas of Xcode are. As you can see, the big colored blocks represent the main areas of Xcode. And we're going to start with the one on the left, the navigator area. Uh, you could probably guess that you look through your project files here, but you can also look through things like breakpoints and issues and stuff. So we'll go through that. Um, to the right of that, there's the editor area, and this is where you write your code mainly. And there's some special features of this area, such as IntelliSense and you know, jumping around within your code, making it easy for you to write your code. Uh, I'll go through all of that stuff. And then there's the debug area below that. That's where you're going to be able to, um, when you breakpoint your code or, or when it crashes, you're going to be able to get more information to figure out why that's happening. On the right-hand side, the utility area, it's made up of two panes. The first is the inspector pane, and that gives you more attributes for either the UI element that you're looking at, or if you're looking at a file, uh, it'll give you attributes for the file. Uh, below that, there's the library where you can store code snippets, or you can also drag UI elements onto um, your, you know, using it with Interface Builder. And then there's the toolbar at the top. So I quickly want to show you guys how to customize their interface depending on your own situation. There are three buttons up here in the upper right hand corner under this view group and if you click any of them they just toggle the big panes that we had talked about and this is useful for example if you're on a small monitor and you you know you're really cramped in something like this you could definitely hide that right pane you wouldn't need it and you can even hide this debug pane if you're just coding and you're not running your app and actually debugging uh, so you can, this can come in handy some of the time. That served as a primer to the major areas of the Xcode interface and in the next video we're going to deep dive into the navigator area. And now for our fun fact of the day. Did you know that until June of 2010 Apple still referred to the iPhone operating system as the iPhone OS? Now I don't know about you guys, but if I say the letters iOS to people, most people won't even know what I'm talking about who are non-developers. What has your experience been? Have you ever mentioned iOS to someone and did they get it? Let me know in the comment section below. 